A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people. Here we go again. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, yesterday, um, we had the conclusion of the warm-up game between West Indies Championship 11 and South Africa. I didn't get a chance to take a look at the final scorecard. So, I'm going to quickly um, go through the scorecard. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this test series that is set to get underway in um, three days time. So give a listen to my people. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. And remember, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. All right. So West Indies Championship 11 versus South Africa. Um, they played out to a draw. One thing with these warm-up games, they usually play them three and a half days. I'm not sure why. You understand? Very rarely we see they go down to the they not go down to the um, full four days. It's usually three and a half days I can call it. So the, the 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 game ended up in a draw. Um West Indies got a championship eleven got a chance to bat a second time. Uh didn't score, you know, we lost four wickets. So, you know, that that's tough. But before we go into the scorecard, I wanna talk a little bit about moments. One thing that we're good at is creating moments. You understand? And if we can improve on creating more moments or, becoming, or, or if we can become known for doing a particular thing and not just creating moments every now and again, that would be good. Now, we say um, Jeremy Salazano getting a century, right? I think he was 111. Ja um, Shamar Springer getting 131. Very good. Now, as fans, you know, even fans that are not fully plugged into the into the into the cricket once they look and they see that you know they are going to be like well that good man that good they make a hundred against south africa these guys are the best thing they should be in the playing 11 for west for the senior team right now but as i said it's 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 creating moments and there are several several that we can look at in the recent past um kyle mayers making his debut with 200 and add tejner and shando paul um, coming in and scoring a whole heap of runs um, in one game. You understand? Um, moments. You understand? It, 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 I, I don't want to single out anybody. But if we are following the cricket, we realize that that is how, that, that is how our cricket is going. We, we win games with moments. You understand? Shamar, Joseph, that was a moment there in Australia. You know, so we are good at creating moments that will attract um, people, it will attract fans, it will pull people towards looking what is going on and then, you know, eventually people just walk away back because the moment that we are creating, it's not long lasting. You understand? So, looking at this championship team here, championship 11, there are guys that got starts against South Africa. You understand? So, we are hoping that next time the championship comes around, the regional championship come around, you know, these guys will be saying to themselves, they went up against some quality bowlers um, when they played South Africa. So they should be able to um, work on the, on, the, on, the, on the regional bowlers. You understand? So we, we should be looking at creating and not creating moments. You see, but I don't know if we can move away from that, especially when you have a head coach saying that we, show, we, we are showing that we can compete. We are showing that we can compete. And even against... Um, England. It's not like the entire team showed that it, it it can compete. You know, it was just moments, a couple of moments. We had guys getting a century. We we had Hodge getting a century. Um Arthur is getting getting a eight yeah, the silver. You understand? So we, we need we need we need we need to, to get to a point where where when we go out there teams are not just looking and say once they get rid of this man or that man, then we are good to go. You understand? When it, when it's one or two players keep on turning up then that's how you get to that's how moments are created if you all understand what i'm saying anyways enough of the preaching um the west indies championship 11 um versus south africa so west indies championship 11 um got a chance to bat twice 397 in that first innings there with solazano getting 111 and um shamar springer getting 131 south africa batted um in their first innings and they scored 408 for eight um you know and then the second innings 
West Indies Championship 11 46 for four. So let me just um, go through here real quick. So once again, it was Solozano 111, um, Springer 131, Joshua Bishop, um, the spinner, you know, he did well with the bat. He made 50. So those were the chief um, run scorers for, um, scorer for, scorers for us. Amir Jangu, he got 30. You know, he definitely um, he got a start. Rabada picked up three wickets in that innings there. And um, for the South Africa's first innings, that 408, I think we spoke about this already. Um, Rickleton, he made 80, retired out. Um, you understand, uh, Tim Babavuma also got a half century, 52. Aiden Markram got um, 82 and had to retire, um, not out, hurt. So um, that's how it went. A um, couple of guys retired out, uh, as I said, so not a lot of wickets were taken. Anderson Phillip took one, um, Niall Smith took one, Josh, um, GD, um Blades took one, Jidia Blades, and Shamar Springer, he picked up one. Now, the Championship 11 got a chance to bat in the second innings. I mean, they didn't play for the entire day and the fourth day, you understand, but um, Tejnar and Chandopal made 14 or uh, 51 deliveries. Jeremy Solazano didn't score. Um, Casey Carty made 8 Wickham didn't score Justin Greaves was left not out on 13 And Amir Jangu on 7 Right so um, Once again we see the um, Ngidi was the, was the wicket taker You know he took most of them He took 3 and um, Dane picked up 1 So Once again we, we realised that The players you know got an opportunity And they were unable to really You know Spend some time at the crease. I can't even knock them too tough because Ngidi, you know, he's a mainstay in the South Africa team. And then these guys, they are just playing a couple of championship game, games um, every, no, you know, uh, <laughs> once a year. You understand? So it's, it's, it's really a tough spot to be in. Sometimes we talk about the guys not being able to perform. And people hear us talking this, you know, stop by and hear us talking this and think we don't understand. We know that the players they don't get um, a chance to play a lot of um, you know cricket, five or six um, red ball games, and, and and the season is over. Competing against teams that you know they are playing first class cricket almost right through the year. It's really difficult. It's really difficult when 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 you, when you ask players to perform like that. So um, you know going going out going into this series here against in, um, South Africa, there are a couple of players that you know they were selected. Um, they weren't a part of the, in, um, the, the, the the England tour. They got selected in this squad to take on South Africa. So we just have to hope that even though they're not going in with a lot of experience or a lot of um, time under their belt, you know, we are just hoping that they can go out there and, um, you know, make use of the opportunities. It's, it's a tough ask. It's a tough ask, um, ask. But we're looking for them to, 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 to do some work. Well, like Casey Carty getting a call up, Brian Charles, um, if he gets in, you understand, and and Jamal Warikan, he's also <laughs> he's also back in the squad. So, you know, um, definitely looking forward to see what these guys will produce. But yeah, that is pretty much it for now, my viewers and subscribers. Um, before we go, just a little bit of track and field. Wanna say a shout out to Julian Alfred um, from St. Lucia, winning gold in the 100 meter for women at the Paris Olympics. You know, I want to say tough luck for the for a couple of the Jamaican um, women. You understand, Sherika Jackson not being able to compete in the 100 or the 200. Um, Shelly and Fraser Price was supposed to run yesterday. Um, we heard about injuries and stuff like that. You know, it's, 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 it's a tough time, my people, tough time. A um, couple of medals that we were looking for, you know, we, we end up not having, not, not getting even, we end up not even competing, you understand? Um, we secured our first medal in the shot put though, um, so I want to say a shout out to that. Uh, we have a couple of guys in the long jump final, Pinnock and another, and another um, guy there made it to the long jump final. Um, we have what, three, three three um, sprinters in the 100 semi-final for men so we're looking forward to that also oblique civil blake and um kishane so gonna be a very interesting day my people gonna leave you try to yourself i know big up on yourself and stay safe